Don't you love that Sarita Gupta? Yes! Good morning, good people. My name is MB Maxwell. I'm the Senior Vice President for Foundation Programs at the Human Rights Campaign, the nation's largest LGBTQ civil rights organization, representing over three million members and supporters from across this country. Yes. I am proud to stand here today alongside such progressive fighters and champions of civil rights like the Leadership Conference on Human Rights, the National Women's Law Center, the NAACP, and more. And I am so grateful to be here with my friends in the labor movement. Thank you for your leadership. We are here to stand with all of you as we face down yet another right-wing attack on working families. Sometimes it seems like this administration just won't stop from the transgender kids that are just trying to learn in school, to the troops that are just trying to serve this country, to the dreamers who are trying to stay in the only place they know as home, and to workers that are just trying to earn a living and provide for their families to organize. The Trump-Pence administration and their far-right ring allies will not stop trying to drag us backwards, but are we going to let them do that? No! This administration has awakened something in this country. Never before have so many people stood up to say enough. We are speaking up for dreamers and for an end to violence and to racism, and we are speaking up for health care and for women's rights, and we are standing together and speaking up today because we know that when teachers and nurses and firefighters are able to join together in a union, they level the playing field and win better benefits for themselves, for their families, and for our communities. This year, we mark 50 years since one of the most historic civil and human rights actions of all time, the 1968 Memphis sanitation workers' strike. Spurred to action following the tragic deaths of Ethel Cole and Robert Walker, 700 sanitation workers began a months-long strike. They sought fair pay and an end to dangerous working conditions with the support of AFSCME. Their bold strike drew civil rights leaders from across the nation, including Martin Luther King Jr. and Bayard Rustin, the openly gay man who was a labor organizer and the chief architect of the nonviolence movement, the organizer of the March on Washington. It was in Memphis when Dr. King lost his life, fighting for more than 1,300 public sector workers, mostly black men, demanding dignity in the workplace. The Memphis sanitation workers' strike was one of the many protests at the intersection of campaigns for both racial and economic justice. And that fight continues today. At the heart of Janus is whether public employees truly have the ability to come together and raise their voices in a strong union. The Human Rights Campaign, along with Lambda Legal, and joined by the National Center for Lesbian Rights, the National LGBTQ Task Force, and PFLAG, filed a friend of the court brief in support of these workers and their right to organize. Yes. We have spoken out in the press and online, and we will continue to do so because we know that collective bargaining has been a powerful force for civil rights, and that includes LGBTQ equality. The history of the labor movement is inextricably bound with advances for civil rights and human rights. Labor leaders have been voices in the fight for marriage equality and the ongoing effort to end discrimination in the workplace on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. Union collective bargaining agreements started banning discrimination based on sexual orientation or gender identity as early as 1974, long before those protections were enshrined in some state laws. In the absence of clear, guaranteed federal employment protections against discrimination based on SOGI, collective bargaining agreements remain a critically important tool to advance LGBTQ protections in the workplace. Also today, I am thinking of the public servants who are often frontline allies of the LGBTQ community, whether it's the teacher who supports the LGBTQ club at their school, or the nurse who provides care for a transgender patient, 
or the social worker of AFSCME who helped this lesbian mom with her adoption so many years ago. Thank you. When it comes to fighting for civil rights, for recognition of our humanity and inherent worth, victories are never won by one person alone. They are won by the amplified voices of the many groups who know that we are stronger together. And at the end of the day, Janus versus AFSCME is about whether we weaken or hold firm to the freedoms that Martin Luther King Jr., Bayard Rustin, and the sanitation workers fought for so bravely 50 years ago. We are proud to stand with you. Thank you.